the skill of just being disciplined, being able to stay on track and just fight and even take a few knocks and get back up and just keep you know on that path for whatever you choose in life. That's a skill I think that'll be with him forever. I think that discipline to me means being able to work hard at something that you strive to achieve and staying focused on that goal and never letting it go no matter what. You should always have that ambition and that drive to do the thing that you love to do. Ever since I was a little kid, I really liked climbing. I used to climb everything from flagpoles to before I could walk, I used to climb baby crates. And eventually he moved to basketball goals and he was gonna climb regardless. And someone just introduced him to rock climbing and it was almost like love at first sight. He was hooked the first time he ever walked into a gym. My mother has no interest in climbing. Um, my mother grew up in an area where climbing wasn't even an option. No one even knew that climbing, rock climbing was a sport. And so the fact that I got into it, I guess it's kind of unique because not many people get into it the way I did. My name is Kai Leitner and I am 14 years old. I have no idea what got him so hooked on competition climbing. I've been competing forever. I competed at my first nationals in 2007. He won the Pan American Championships in Ecuador in bouldering and sport climbing. In 2010, I won my first uh, SCS National Championships, and so far I've won it for four years in a row. He recently placed fourth at the World Championship in his first time going, which is a huge accomplishment. He's, he's won anything you can win in America. You, you know, you wake up and brush your teeth, he wakes up, does a workout, brushes his teeth, goes to school, comes home, does homework, works out, goes to the climbing gym and that's his day and that's what he does. That's like who he is. Um, usually I don't have time to hang out with my friends after school. Come on, personal life. I have work. Um, I have take care of basics at the home and then there's climbing. I'm the single mom. I think ed education is very important. It's probably the most important thing I do at the moment. And plus that's the only reason that my mother lets me climb. Basically our deal has always been, as long as you continue to bring home the grades, I'll give you my time, I'll give you my money, and I'll figure out how to work everything out. And he's been holding up his end of the bargain, so... I have to do a lot of homework a lot when I'm traveling. You're always on the go. At the end of the day, it's it's worth it. There's not much climbing in Fayetteville. He loves the people, loves the environment, but it's not the same as the competition walls or even the competition type routes that he that he climbs. I compensate and work with what I have so that I can improve. The Triangle Rock Club is about an hour and a half away, and so we end up going there once a week. to do some awesome climbing. He just discovered the, that outdoor climbing actually gives him a different thrill also. Some of his more recent accomplishments that he's more excited about are, are climbing outside. Um, he's not so concerned with the grade, he just likes to push himself. So I finally got out in 2010, which is really awesome. And then in 
2011, I went out um, once and I got my first 13A, which was Snicker, and it was really exciting for me. <laughs> well, this year it was the first year I got to go outside more than once a year. I've done four 14As, a 14B, and a 14C. The main difference is it's a completely different terrain. Rather than just climbing, you have to deal with the atmosphere, the weather, the bugs, and the terrain in which you're climbing in. So actually pay attention to your surroundings more and make sure that conditions are right. Whereas indoors, you can go any day and it doesn't matter. Everything's gonna be the same. So that's a kind of a different thing to get used to. It didn't take long because I guess to me, climbing is climbing, no matter where it is, whether it's outside or inside. My mom's awesome. I mean, the fact that she can support me during my rock climbing, even when she doesn't like the outdoors or bugs or trees or... <laughs> the fact that she doesn't like any of those things and she decides to climb and belay me outside just shows that she has the dedication. She's just very motivating and she helps push me to be the best that I can be. No matter what you choose to do in life, there are gonna be obstacles. With climbing, if you set your goals high enough, there is no way you're gonna walk through the door and just immediately just reach those goals. So it's almost like just through the nature of the sport itself, like you have to be disciplined. And so I think that that definitely makes climbing an essential piece. There's life that's so much bigger than the competition or a podium or a medal. There's always been two very prominent figures, and those figures are my coaches, Emily Taylor and Shane Messer. They are the reason that I'm here today. Being sort of in the spotlight, I, should, I would say, has really helped him to grow up as an adult and helped him to be a young professional. But I mean, when he gets away from cameras, he's a kid, like, <laughs> he's a goofball. I get an amaz amazing feeling from Tony that I don't get from him at this point. I get kind of that feeling of euphoria when I complete a goal um, that I've been working on, whether it's an outside route or it's a competition inside that I really want to win. That's what I really like about climbing.